vomit. What makes our bodies do it and why? Well, we're doctors and we can tell you. Can I get it now? Hang on. Being sick's your body's mechanism for getting rid of stuff it doesn't want, often because there's a bad bacteria or virus in your stomach. So that's the simple answer to why we puke, although it's a bit more complicated. Now can I get it? Hang on. But what's vomit actually made of? And what goes on inside our bodies to prepare us for this massive event? Now can I get it? Oh, go on then. Let's eat Chris's lunch. This is my sick. Oh, Chris, that's awful. Don't worry, I'm not ill. There is still food in there. That's because when you're sick from your stomach, it's not choosy. You bring up everything to try and get rid of that bad bacteria or virus. So what your stomach ejects is all the food and drink you've taken in in one go. But there is another ingredient in vomit. Azan, I want you to close your eyes and imagine you're in a really posh Italian restaurant. Now, don't you think my vomit smells a bit like cheese? And that's because when food is broken down in your stomach, it makes butyric acid. The acid is produced by bacteria as it eats away at your food, and the same bacterial process occurs as cheese ages. Which is why older cheeses like Parmesan smell a little bit like vomit. Just as well Chris hadn't been eating Parmesan or his vomit would smell much worse. Enough already. Now, I've got something even better than a tub of my own vomit. Apart from it being really unpleasant when you're sick, there are real dangers of your vomit spreading a virus. And it can lead to an epidemic, just like the winter vomiting bug, norovirus. But how can vomit spread viruses? This is Larry. He's a robot, but he's not just any old robot, he's a vomiting robot. Larry's been specially designed to show us how the virus can spread to other people when we vomit. So, I've given Larry a big drink and he's going to vomit into this container. If he's ill, shouldn't he just stick to dry toast or something? Zand! Ready to puke in three, two, one... <laughs> that was really powerful. It's amazing. That might look like a much more powerful puke than a human would do, but in fact there are things like norovirus that do make you projectile vomit. It's lucky we had such a big container. I think we've caught it all. Well, we can check that, Zahn, because I put a fluorescent dye in the liquid that I made Larry drink. Do you think that's what made him sick? Hmm. No, I think turning the knob made him sick. He's a robot, Zand. So, I'm going to go and turn on the ultraviolet lights and we'll see if any of the splashes of vomit escaped. So, there's loads in the container. You can see it really well. You look outside the container, see how much there is here. Yeah, there's loads. And then over here where I am, there's even more. These are big, big drops. Some of them are more than two metres away from Larry. Look, Zand, it's even on you. Oh, yeah. It's all over me. It's just amazing how much mess he's made. Well, this is exactly why Larry was invented, to show just how far drops of vomit can spread. And remember, each one of these splashes has enough virus in it to make you seriously ill. So remember, if you're being sick yourself or you're looking after someone who's sick, it's really important to wash the whole area really carefully and wash your hands with soap and water to stop spreading the virus on. But it's not all bad news. Vomiting can sometimes be your way of getting rid of things that are harmful. This never would have happened if we'd just given him dry toast. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a bone to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the obvious kid. Food that's gone off or hasn't been cooked correctly can contain harmful bacteria that attack your body. But your body fights back. Immune cells in your tummy try to kill the bad bacteria. Oh, watch out! Phew. Then friendly bacteria multiply and release toxins to stop them too. Then your body gets you to eject them. Sometimes your stomach muscles contract to push them upwards. Or sometimes it's downwards. Your intestines don't absorb water when you have food poisoning, so when diarrhoea kicks in, a lot of liquid is flushed out and you're left feeling dehydrated. So keep drinking water, but not water with bugs in it. Oh, no. Ouch!
Chris, you haven't seen my diarrhoea sample anywhere, have you? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Now, let's get on with today's experiment, shall we? Have you got your sample? Well, that isn't very runny. I thought we agreed on diarrhoea. Look, I just thought it might be better to compare a normal solid poo with a runny one. Now, everyone gets diarrhoea from time to time, and one of the most common reasons is if you get a tummy bug, and the result is that your body ejects the contents of your digestive system as quickly as possible. Now, as you can see, Chris's plain solid poo looks completely different to mine, but that isn't the only difference. One of these poos weighs more. So which of them do you think weighs more? Chris's solid poo or Zahn's runny poo? As you can see, my diarrhoea poo is a lot heavier than Chris's normal poo. But why? Why is diarrhoea heavier and runnier than normal poo? Well, we're going to show you. Ah, Zahn, welcome to my poo factory. Wow! Wait a minute! Are these my ballet tights? Yes. I'm just using them as part of the poo factory, and they are proving to be very, very effective fake intestines. But don't worry, don't worry, you can have them back later. First up, let's make a solid poo. Get the masher. And mash. This bowl is like the inside of your mouth, chewing up the food. To help mash it up, your body adds saliva, enzymes, and it's all washed down with a drink. OK, Zan, I think that's enough. It's time to move it from the mouth to the intestines. This is like you swallowing. <laughs> nice work. Once the mashed-up food hits your intestines, the muscular walls of your gut push the food along and squeeze out all the goodness. So you can see this rich liquid full of all the nutrients and the water is coming out of the guts and going into the body, which is these metal trays. And what's left is the indigestible stuff that's going to become your poo. Well, Zan, I think it's time to poo. There you go. Much, much more solid than it was at the beginning. Nice, dry, well-formed poo. We have made the perfect poo. And look how much water is in the tray. Our fake intestines managed to get almost all the water out of our poo. This water, full of nutrients, gets reabsorbed back into the body and delivered to where it's needed. So, if that's what happens to make a normal poo, what happens when you make diarrhoea? Well, it all starts in the same way. Right, Zond, put the food in the mouth and start chewing. Just as before, we have the same food and mixture. But this time, our poor intestines are dealing with a tummy bug. Time to swallow. So now something different happens. The tummy bug makes your guts draw in extra water from your body, pushing everything through your system super fast. What I've got here is a high-pressure hose, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate what happens when your guts draw in water from your body. Chris, are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, go! Here it comes. Oh, that's good, Don. That's good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing, Zahn. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Zander's turned my perfect poo factory into the world's first diarrhoea machine. So, we've shown you that diarrhoea is heavier and runnier than normal poo, as your intestines don't get the chance to do their job. And all the water that should have been absorbed, like the normal poo, ends up in the toilet. And you can see that in our trays. There's almost no water in our trays at all with the diarrhoea. And that's why it's also a good idea to drink plenty of water or rehydration drinks when you have diarrhoea, because they replace the nutrients and water your body has lost. Speaking of drinks, all this experimentation is making me thirsty. Chris, I'm not sure you want to be drinking that. That's my backup diarrhoea sample. Uh...